In this video, we will be implementing text classification using neural network. So here you can see all the basic imports which we have done earlier. Uh, here we are importing everything that is required for implementing a neural network. But you will see two new types of layers. One is the embedding layer and the other one is the flatten layer. Apart from that, we are also importing tokenizer and sequence. They both come from Keras dot preprocessing package. The data set that we will be using is the same data set that you have seen earlier that we have used earlier. So we have message and every message is, is labeled as spam or not spam. Okay, so I hope uh, you're clear with the data and we have done all the basic inputs. The very first step is the basic step where we will split the data in, into feature and target and further we will split the data into train and test. Okay. So that is also done here. Message is the feature, category is the target, and the data is further split into X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. Now you will see the new step, that is the tokenization. But this time the tokenization is done using the Keras tokenizer. So we create an object of the Keras tokenizer and call fit on text function, and we pass the training data. This will return us. A vocabulary. A vocabulary is represented in the form of a dictionary where we have all the unique tokens and for every unique token, a unique integer value has been assigned. For example, I is assigned as 1, 2 is assigned as 2, U is assigned as 3 and so on and so forth. So for every token, a unique integer has been assigned. In order to see this particular dictionary, you have to call index underscore word. Okay, now let's check the length of the vocabulary. So for that purpose, we will use the universal length function that we have already learned in Python. And we will pass the dictionary here. And you can see the vocab length is 7,382. That means we have 7,382 unique tokens. Okay. Now the next step is to convert these tokens or put these tokens back in the sequence. Uh, for that purpose, we are using text to sequence function. This, uh, this function also comes from the tokenizer object and we are passing the training data and this will return us the train sequence. So you can check the sequence over here. This is your first document. The only difference is rather than putting the, rather than putting the actual tokens, these tokens are now replaced by their unique, unique integer values. Okay. So this is your first document. This is your second document. This is your third document and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, uh, the next step is padding, sequence padding, which we will see in the next video.